What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. to everyone out there in the decoding world. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality. And today we're gonna be breaking down and decoding the best selling game, video game of all time. This will be Minecraft Decoded. Maybe this is the first time you've ever heard of this game. If you're not into video games, some of you have kids and a lot of your kids play this game. It's the best-selling video game of all time, folks. Which is one of the very reasons why I decided to decode it. Folks, this game is our micro to our macro. Because when man writes the software to play these games, we then go into another reality, another virtual reality. <clears throat> and we end up extending upon our visions and expressions. So if we're the macro, what would be our macro? And we're going to become the micro because it's just all dimensional, folks. It's fractals. That's how this game works. Of course, many people, including myself, believe we're in a simulation. We're in a game that's called life, folks. And when people write software to video games, operating systems, this very cell phone you're listening on, the computer, laptop you're listening on, it has an operating system. It's software. It's written with code. Without the code, it would not operate. These games would not operate without code. This game of life that we all play would not operate without code, mathematics, numbers. And as I keep saying, man is being used. We're being controlled remotely. Just like we go in and play these games, we control the characters remotely. That's the way this works, folks. So here we go, folks. Minecraft Decoded, I'm going to suggest to get comfortable. This is going to be, you know, I don't know if anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour long, maybe give or take. Get comfortable, slip on a pair of headphones, get immersed in this presentation. And really pay attention because I'm about to show you things, folks, that will once again support what I've been saying. That man is being used and this is just an extension of that. Minecraft Decoded. So I wanted to give a shout out because a lot of you have some great suggestions on what I should decode and keep them coming. Um, I've taken a lot of your suggestions into consideration and put out some videos and give people credit. This is the person that recommended this decode on Minecraft, RXMI. If you're listening, appreciate you sending this in and I wanted to give you a shout out. So folks, if you have a suggestion, keep them coming. I get a lot of emails. I, obviously, I can't do everybody's decode. I have a lot of my own ideas, but keep them coming because this person right here and I, the very reason why I decided to decode this, folks, I looked at it, I'm like, oh my God, it's the best selling video game of all time. And this person that suggested it said it's made up of cubes and squares. And folks, the word mine, we're being mined for our gold, which is what this person had reminded me of. 
Make no mistake about it. This is the software and the code. There are no accidents, no coincidences. Everything is specifically expressed through numbers, through language, et cetera, et cetera. And so we live in the cube of space, the square, and that's what we're going to get into because that's what this game's all about. So let's get into the topics during this presentation, folks. In the zero position, of course, I always want to include the zero, the intro, which is what I'm doing now. Number one, we're going to get into and break down Minecraft. Number two, we're going to get into the type of game Minecraft is. It's called a sandbox game. Well, this one's rather, I, I find that whatever created this reality has one hell of a sense of humor. Number three, we're going to get into the number 322. Oh yeah, and you know, this will shatter those of you that continually think that man is doing anything, folks, because I'm going to link this video game to the 322. Number four, Mojang Studios, the firm that created Minecraft. Number five, we're going to get into the creators of Minecraft. Number six, we're going to get into another sandbox game called Sim City. This one came out in 1989. Oh, what a year that was. And then, of course, I always love to hear what you see during these presentations. So in the seventh position, what did you see? Keep your comments coming. So here we go, folks. The first topic of conversation, Minecraft. And I want to start off by showing not just the numerology of Minecraft. And folks, you know, you, you can go and really decode this using m many other layers. And again, as I continually do this research, I stress to all of you, it, when you add on another numerology cipher and then you find another layer to add to that it just proves that man could never code this it's there's too many moving parts they would have to get all these layers right i mean we can get into all the ciphers and go through all these numbers and i can find a connection with every single one if i look hard enough so nonetheless folks it's a 33 in the Chaldean. And again, why I favor the Chaldean, because it uses the numbers one through eight. And it's not just the oldest known numerology cipher, but it goes off of phonetics. The number nine is a repeater number. The number numbers one through eight is what the Chaldean uses. It works off of phonetics, which is the frequencies of the letters. Notice it's a 33. Now we can't just go and say, well, it's a 33. It's Masonic. So, you know, those of you that think, well, there's the 33 and Minecraft must mean that it's Masonic or the Jesuits own Minecraft. That's kind of what it means. That's ludicrous thinking, folks. Ludicrous thinking. So, you know, I wanted to take it a step further. And this was a methodology that I discovered. And a lot of you are starting to use it. And I think it has a lot of truth to it. If you haven't seen my decode on John Wick, well, I, there's a reason why they called him Neo in the movie The Matrix. Keanu Reeves, check out my decode on John Wick. But alchemology is the, the word I've coined it, and it's taking numerology and then bringing in the elements of the periodic table. They're all numbered, of course, the protons, and matching them with the respected numbers and the letters. So Minecraft being a nine-letter word, of course, that means battery right here, but here are the nine elements that match up with the nine numbers and letters coming from Minecraft. And then we go over to the trusty calculator and we add up all these atomic weights that these elements have measured in a laboratory. And we're made up a lot of these elements. That's why this is micro to macro. And when you add up all these elements that come out from Minecraft, not only is it the 33, but it ends up becoming the numbers 69.072, which is why I have in the background the yin-yang. So how about that, folks? The, in Minecraft, not only is the master number 33, which, you know, there's a lot of layers to the 33. One of them is going to be coming out in my infinity decode because 33 is tied to the, not only the Christ and our vertebrae, but it's also the now moment in the past, present, and future scenario. But how about that? Minecraft through alchemology becomes the yin-yang. This game is about duality, which is what we're playing. So this is a micro to our macro. If you use the English 
just to add another layer on to show you how much more complicated it becomes to give us a different outcome. Minecraft is an 89, which of course leads to the number eight anyway, which is the infinity symbol. 89 is 17. Eight plus nine is 17. One plus seven is eight. That's the infinity symbol, past, present, and future. And of course, the Gnostic Demiurge called Yaldabaoth equals the number 89, which is what I feel is wrapped up into all this, which is, in my opinion, is, is the puppet master. It's running this reality, at least has a major stake in our reality and in our simulation. So this is Minecraft is an extension of our game of life. It's just another reality that you have to slip into. And then humans get to control everything with the remote. Something beyond us is controlling us remotely, folks. So let's get into the type of game Minecraft is. It's called a sandbox. And this is the sense of humor. This is where you just, you got to chuckle and laugh. It's called a sandbox game. And... A sandbox game, if you read here with me, it's a video game with an element that gives the player a great degree of creativity to complete tasks towards a goal within the game. You build cities. You orchestrate. You develop. You become an architect. So why would it be so far-fetched, folks, to not believe or to believe that something is creating our reality, the architect of our reality. You may call it the G-O-D, but what is the G-O-D, folks? This is the micro to our macro, this game Minecraft. Our mi we're the, and we end up becoming the micro and there's a macro beyond us. Here's the sense of humor, folks, right here. Th this is where it's just, you know, you, <laughs> you got to laugh at this because, you know, the, t the terminology, again, the man, ch the man consciously choosing sandbox to give this t style of gameplay its title, sandbox. You know, and it's because of this. I mean, I when I was a kid, I played in the sandbox. Did you, you know, notice? I mean, it's just subtleties, and I just happened to choose this because it was a good photo to use, but it's in a cube. It's in a square. Could have been anything. It could have been on a beach, but the sandbox, box, cube, square, which is why the game Minecraft uses, excuse me, uses cubes, blocks, because we live in the cube. And this is exactly what this sandbox is all about let's children folks we're children we don't have a long time here on this planet we're children in comparison to what's beyond our physical reality we're children folks so there's there's the title folks sandbox game of course game is 13 that's tied to 79 and gold if you've been following along sandbox the 27 currency we're going to get into that in a minute but you know folks it's a total number of 40 and when you bring in the string of pi yet we bring in another layer that man would have to bring into this to code it before they ever create it who sits down and creates a video game and bases it off of what the total numerology is not in just one cipher but in multiple ciphers, folks, when we bring in all these other layers, folks, who, how, how do you do that? How do you sit down and consciously code stuff before you ever deliver it to the world? And why would you even do that? This is a video game. This has nothing to do with really going out and killing people, really going out and committing acts of, acts of violence. It has nothing to do with that. There's no mockery involved with a video game, folks. Sorry, that doesn't make any sense. But yet here we are showing the same patterns. The number 40 in the string of pi, which I've been showing this, how accurate this is. And this is the website that I use right here. It's called sabidium.com. You can type in any number. It goes up to about 2 million digits. It'll tell you exactly where these digits are found. And the number 40, it appears at the 70th decimal digit of pi. Now it occupies two spaces. So the 40 is the 70th and 71st digits in the string of pi, which is what we all create up, create in the sine and cosine waves. I've been showing this. I'm going to be bringing a little bit of trigonometry into this presentation because some of you have been asking me about it, but the 70 plus 71, that equals the number 100 
and 41, which is tied to this element right here called cerium. Now, if you're new to this, why would I be bringing the elements of the periodic table into the decoding world? Because see, all of these little elements have pictures. They have people that discover them. They have temperatures of their melting points. These are bridges, folks. And they will tell you a lot about how our reality works. And we're made, we have a lot of these elements inside of our bodies. So, of course, it's part of our reality. And these are bridges and they give us more of the story, the truth, I believe, of how this reality works. And this element, cerium, right here is the goddess of agriculture. It's right here. It's taken from the asteroid named Ceres. It's the Roman goddess of agriculture, cerium. And it has 58 protons. That's what this little number means. If you haven't seen si this layer of science since high school, the number in the top left is the protons. And then the number down here is the atomic weight or mass measured in a laboratory. And a lot of these elements have several. But cerium is the 141. It's layered to the number 40. And folks, the big tie-in here, I'm going to be getting to, but here's one of them. You see, the number 40 is tied to this element called zirconium. Zirconium it has an, a, a few atomic weights, but the most abundant is 89.905. That's tied to the, again, the Gnostic demiurge called Yaldabaoth. So how about, folks, this sandbox game tied to Yaldabaoth, tied to the string of pi, tied to the element cerium, the goddess of agriculture. And how does that play into Yaldabaoth? And remember folks, zirconium, when you look at zirconium, it means gold colored right there. It's taken from this Arabic name. Here's the clues, the bridges that these elements provide telling us how our game in reality works. This name's derived from the Arabic word zargon and it means gold colored. Its average is 91, 91 is battery means gold color folks we're being mined this is a minecraft we're being mined for our gold and this is a direct match with that folks this is a direct match with that i have two different the same picture here but here's the tie-in folks of yaldabaoth and the game called minecraft our micro sandbox is a number 27, which is tied to the element cobalt, tied to the dragon card, which is tied to the sine wave. And this element, I feel, is the chaos and order. That's what the CO abbreviation means. Chaos and order is our duality. And of course, notice the atomic weight of cobalt, 58. That's tied to this word called puppet master. And I've been showing this over and over, folks, and you go right back to the cerium and the string of pi this layer ties into cerium tied into the sandbox game it's all tied together folks tied to yaldabaoth tied to the gold color tied to puppet master make no mistake about it folks this is what's telling us how our reality is being run because our micro is this video game as man goes into the video screen our screen through our lenses of our eyes are being controlled and operated by the puppet master, AKA Yaldabaoth. It goes by many names. So sandbox is currency folks, sandbox game. The, the title of the game, the Minecraft, it's a sandbox game. It means currency. The game of life is currency. This is an extension of our reality folks. Even the word sandbox in the English is a 79. That's tied to the element gold. And of course, we go right back to zirconium, meaning gold colored and sandbox game being 40 tied to Yaldabaoth. So who do you think's collecting all the gold, folks, that we create through the sine and cosine waves of chaos and order, folks? You got to use your common sense and logic when you bring all these layers together and syncretize them. Gold gold frequency, being mined for our gold, Minecraft, being mined for our gold in the sandbox. And remember folks, what does a hourglass have inside of it? It has sand. What is the sand representing? It represents time. 
Time is the hourglass, and we only have so much of it. Sandbox, sands of time, being mined for our gold in the game of life. That's how this works, folks. Let's go a little bit further. Sandbox game through the English. It was 40 in the Chaldean. Here's the expressions of the English. It's the 105. I mean, even the word game is 26. That's the G-O-D. G-O-D equals 26. Game equals 26. Prison equals 26. I mean, think about it with your logic and common sense, folks. When you bring all these layers together, man could never code this ever in a million years. We're talking about a, a simple video game have nothing to do with any murder, killing, mockery, rituals. None of that crap is involved in this presentation. But here we go talking about the same patterns that we're finding in other mainstream things in news, sports, music, movies, etc. Sandbox game is a 105. The 14th trigonal number, the triangular numbers, is the, is the 105. 105 is the 14th triangular number, the all-seeing eye, which is on the back of the dollar bill. What is 14, the representation of folks? Time. G-O-D. Even the word Satan. Satan is time. Racing against time. That's why the theology will tell you that his time is short. He only has so much time. We only have so much time in this game before the sands run out. Sandbox. We're in the sandbox, folks. That's what this is telling us. And this game, Minecraft, is our micro. It's our extension. Beyond mankind is an extension of us, but it's controlling us remotely in the sands of time. It's right there. The Masons call it the great architect of the universe. 105. One zero five, the sandbox game. We're in the sands of time. That's how this works, folks. So there is one hundred five is the fourteenth trigonal number pyramid. That's why the pyramids are so predominant on the world stage. The Great Pyramid of Khufu. Reason why they're lined up with Orion's Belt. There's a whole other layer into that, folks. The stars, constellations. That all runs our reality. That's our macro. We're the micro to the constellations. So let's get into the 322. Because it's embedded into this game, folks. And again, I'm going to ask you personally to use your common sense and logic. Don't just jump to conclusions. Because here's the connection with the 322 and this game called Minecraft. This game was released originally, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, circled on the 18th of November in 2011. And I want to point out to you, ladies and gentlemen, that the 211 is tied to the number 47. 2011 is still the 211, which is tied to the 47, which is tied to the Tetragrammaton. But we have 18 November, which is... 1811. And if you know what the 18 and 11 means, you have more keys to the kingdom. I'm not going to break that down because I'd have to show you some more slides and I didn't create any of those. But here's the big takeaway. November 18th is the 322nd day of the year. Does this indicate that we're being mocked by Mojang Studios and that they're Masonic and they're skull and bones? And all the ridiculous crap that you hear from other people out there. Or is that what we're supposed to believe here, folks? There's more to the story than just what you see on the surface. That's why man is being used. Let's bring in four other layers, folks, to show you how complicated this code is and that man could never code this. And why would they try to mock you with the code on a, stu a video game? It's a video game that kids play. So the, the November 18th day, let me show you, is the two clubs. I want to show you that. Let's be really transparent. Here's the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination. Typical poker deck. I've been showing this. 52 cards, 52 weeks, four suits, four seasons. Here are all the months and then all the days running vertically, 1 through 31. So November 
18th, which is the 322nd day of the year. It's the two clubs card. And the two clubs card, when you go into the lineages of these cards, it's the 15th card in the deck. So now that we have that out of the way, folks, there it is. This game was delivered to the world and came out. The birth, You could say this is the birthday of Minecraft. Came out on November 18th. It's the 15th card in the deck. Now, the cards of illumination came out around the 13th or 14th century, according to the history of the cards, and they came out before the tarot, before the tarot. These are a cousin of the cards of illumination. These came first, these came second. But nonetheless, here we are syncretizing both because they both have their own expressions. This is the counterpart to the two of clubs, the birth card of Minecraft. It's the two of wands. Now, the symbolism of this card, folks, the symbolism of this card, clearly you can see is a man holding the globe or the world in the palm of his hands or the palm of his hand. And on both sides, you have the wands, the two, the two pillars, if you will. Now, clubs means mind, the mind of the cosmos. Remember that. The clubs means the mind going inward, the mind. And think about what we're talking about. We're talking about a game of virtual reality of the mind. So this card, the two of wands from the two of clubs found from the birthday of minecraft this means like the keywords to this is like choice potential contemplating what you want to do next moving through the threshold planning structure what would you be doing with a game like this you're building worlds that's why he's got, this is why folks, this, these, this is why man could never code this. They're not sitting down choosing the 18th of November being the three, because this is the card. It's just because man's being used and all these things were here before man ever got here. Especially us. These have been around a lot longer than all of us listening to this ex transmission right now. But how about that? This, this card means strategies and th moving through into a new world, planning. That's what this game's all about, folks. Sandbox in the sands of time, creating new worlds, building families, building worlds, building, you know, commercial buildings and structures. It's exactly what this card means. It's the 23rd card in the deck. And of course, we know the major words in the Chaldean are words like blood, history, crown. Those all equal the number 23. Of course, in numerology, it's called the royal star of the lion which is, of course, the number 69 linked to Leo the Lion, which is the fifth zodiac sign, which the number five is all about the house of manifestations. It's the throat chakra, speaking things into existence. Hey, I'm going to build this. Hey, I'm going to build that. Building worlds, folks. And this release date of this game is tied to these layers right here. And it's the three. Now, you know, partly what the 322 means. It means building worlds, folks of the mind clubs means mind when we bring in another layer called science alchemy this element right here called phosphorus now most of you should know that the character lucifer is known through the greek aspects as phosphorus so you got to sync this up is lucifer the because folks when you go look at this word right here, architect, equals the number 28. Guess what also equals the number 28? Lucifer. Can't leave that stuff out. A lot of people believe Lucifer is the architect of this universe. Well, I mean, with this expression right here, he's the light bringer. You, when you let there be light, and God said, let there be light, Lucifer is the light bringer. Mm, there's a good possibility that's what's going on here, folks. And then, of course, phosphorus has an atomic weight of 30. That's linked to the rabbit card going down the rabbit hole. All of these sync up and then linked to this word called Demiurge, the ruler of duality, the god of duality. 30 is linked to the word Santa. It's linked to the word Nazareth, like Jesus of Nazareth. It's all the same linked up, folks.
all of it just on just this one expression of the date of 322 now let's go further folks now we're going to get into some advanced decoding we're going to get into some trig trigonometry i kept saying that trigonometry it's trigonometry but this is basic trigonometry here this is the sine and cosine waves we're not met doing any measurements with the x and the the sine and cosine waves but this is your typical vibrational frequency in the span of time creating the ripple effect this is where you get your dollar sign from the dragon wave is in here chaos and order that's what the 27 is all about but folks here is when you go to numberempire.com i've moved this up but it's more down towards the bottom but every number is going to have a sine and cosine wave. this is the footprint right here of the number 300 and 22 so if you want to know because a lot of you know you know skull and bones chose that number 322 why did they choose the number 322 well you're about to find out folks and this is why man's not coding it man may become conscious of the code but they certainly not in control of the blueprint because the numbers are too perfect so there is the number circle for the sign whoops not sine and cosine waves for the number 322 so now we want to break down and get the numbers off of that so there's the sine wave it's 83 and then the 55 giving us a total when we add them up of 138 and most of you should know what that 38 is of course it's tied to murder the movie murder by numbers i'm going to be working on that decode but it's the 38 the 138 is a higher octave of the 38 it would, you could say it's the controller of the 38 so now you know there's no more secrets 322 tied to the 138 which of course when you break it down and bring in another layer called the elements of the periodic table alchemy the 322 the footprint of the 322 through the sine and cosine waves that makes its expression through the, the trigonometry and pi it becomes 138 that's tied to this element called lanthanum what's fascinating about this element when you go look at the little clues they give us here it is look at the picture they choose to use for this element called lanthanum of course there are clues in here made in japan japan land of the rising sun there's a lot of synchronicities in here folks that i could get into and show you but there it is it means to lie hidden what would be lying hidden inside of a number folks because it certainly is not a man hiding inside of the number 322 it's certainly not a man or a woman hiding inside the number 138 or the number 57. it's inside the frequencies folks that we cannot see this is the footprint of the number 322 so now you know folks and what it's tied to with the skull and bones and all that stuff folks it goes far beyond skull and bones and yale and all that stuff it, it's way beyond our reality folks physically but there it is and this is all tied to the date of when this game came out we're talking about a micro to macro here folks we're talking about it creating worlds we're talking about creating worlds with light this is, means light bringer let and god said and god said let there be light the god of this duality the one that lies hidden folks 322 and what is the 22 titanium titanium's 47 what does the three mean it means pi it means the trinity 3.1 pi it's pi 22 and pi that's what this number means if you know how to read numbers so this game comes out on november 18th the 322nd day of the year leading to all these layers telling us the story of how this reality perhaps works leading to the sine and cosine waves the footprint of the 322 leading to this element land phantom which means to lie hidden 57 is inside the it's in the movie back to the future if you ever watch that movie it's all over that movie 57 it's everywhere look for the number 57 start consciously looking for the number 57 when you start watching movies and all the other stuff you're going to see it everywhere folks man's not doing that 
Because it's on things that have no relevance in the shows that we're watching. It's in the background. It's on this, it's on that. It's not part of the set. It's not consciously part of that. But yet you're going to see it. It's just the code expressing itself. It wants to be found. So here is the breakdown giving the elements of the periodic table their say in all of this. Remember, this is the sine and cosine waves of the 138, which is from the 322, taken from the date of this game called Minecraft. 83 is the sine wave. It's called bismuth. And then the cosine wave is the 55th element called cesium. When you do the alchemy of these two elements taken from the 138 taken from the 322 look at what you get folks 341 what what's pi folks three point what 3.14 it doesn't have to be exact match the numbers are still there expressing themselves so how about that folks the 322 leads to the 341 through these layers that we can't ignore these are real things in our lives. When you take Lan Phantom, 138 and 906, the decimal separating those two numbers, when we remove the decimal and we add up those numbers, look at what number we get, folks. 1,044. You know that number, 144,000, the chosen ones? Well, see, it takes on a whole different meaning, folks the script it's not just what man has just told you out in the front and then lanthanum is 34 through numerology which is a direct match of the card that's tied to the 322 two clubs 34 lanthanum 34 lanthanum is the 57th element it's 138 it's tied to the sine and cosine waves of the number 322 folks and that 322 is the birthday of this game called minecraft how about that folks so, so you can clearly see this game has nothing to do with mocking you it has nothing to do with rituals it has nothing to do with killing this is about a micro to our macro yet it came out on the 322nd day of the year and that's what the 322 looks like folks underneath all the covers that it hides from and of course it means to lie hidden folks right there the name is derived from the greek word meaning to lie hidden you got to use your common sense and logic. What's being hidden, folks? Something beyond our physical reality. And there you go. Master number 144 in so many ways. It's tied to Lanthanum, tied to the two clubs, tied to the birth card of the game Minecraft. I mean, it just goes right around in a circle. You can't make this stuff up. Most definitely not. And man's not coding this, folks. No point to it. It's a video game. Mojang Studios, company, the outfit that brought Minecraft to the world stage. And I'm going to start off with this right here at the very top. You're going to see highlighted in orange on May 17th, 2020. There are, now, it was their 11th anniversary. Of course, 11 is the uh, number that's tied to the number 89 and 24. Let me just show you that, folks, because this is a prime. This is called the prime Fibonacci number, folks. This is a big deal. The number 89, which is tied to Yaldabaoth. Think about that. Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge. Not only is it the 24th prime number, what's 24? It's our X chromosomes, as in X-Men. You know, one half of the X and the Y are chromosomes. But it's also the 11th Fibonacci number, folks. How about that? A prime Fibonacci number. And these guys in their 11th anniversary of Minecraft, they end up changing their name and their logo may 17th and look at just so happens folks look at what day of the year it is now i have it circled the leap year because in 2020 when they did this announcement 2020 was a leap year folks so we're talking about may 17th 517 tied to the architect of the universe again if you've watched my other decodes folks it just gets ridiculous so we know man's not running this. It's 138th day of the year, May 17th. Once again, leading to that element, which means to lie hidden, Lanthanum. 
It's right there. You can't make this up, folks. You cannot make this up. Mojang Studios. Mojang, of course, is a 21. That's tied to Saturn, tied to the world card, tied to the eight of clubs, which is the four faces of God. We can bring in so many layers, folks. I could sit here and do decodes for hours just on this topic. Don't have enough time. Studios, 28, tied to the 33, tied to Lucifer, tied to the architect. Subtleties, but you can't leave it out. That's the number 49. What does 49 mean in numerology? And when you bring in the chakras, the fourth chakra is the heart. The ninth is the controller of all the chakras. 49, 94 is plutonium, Pluto, the destroyer of the world that we live in. It's all synced up, folks, down in a hole. I did a decode on this. The whole that we all live in, duality. Whole is 20, duality is 20. I'm going to be getting into this, folks. We're down in the hole, in the, t the, the, the sea of space, moving through time, and the sands are raining down upon our head, and there's only so much time we get until the game resets. We're being controlled remotely, folks, a direct match. You can, you can clearly see what's going on here. This was the original name of Mojang Studios, circled in red at the very top. It was called Mojang Specifications. And I want to point out, you know, again, it, the sandbox, it's a survival video game. Survival. What are you trying to do in this game of life? Survive. We're trying to survive down here, folks. So nonetheless, here is the original name of Mojang Studios called Mojang Specifications. Look at what it ends up becoming. It didn't change the Mojang. It just changed studios to specific, from specifications to studios. But look at that. What's 53? It's iodine. What's iodine? One half of the I am, folks. It just keeps going on. It's, it just gets ridiculous, the code. You can clearly see what's going on. That's a total of 74. That's this element called tungsten, the letter W, is the abbreviation for Wolfram. Tungsten is known as Wolfram. And what is Wolfram? It's the wolf. And what's the wolf card? Here's another sink, folks. It's like, here's the medicine cards. What's the 15th card in the deck? It's called the wolf. Remember what the birthday card was of Minecraft? Two of clubs. 15th card. 15th card. Wolf. And this original name is tied to Wolfram, a.k.a. Tungsten? You think this is just all done by people consciously coding it? Is that total ludicrous thinking, folks? Man could never... They're not going to sit down. You'd never get anything done. Tungsten has an atomic weight of 183. By the way, they used to make light bulbs with tungsten, the filaments that would light up. What do light bulbs do? They illuminate. 74 means illumination, tied to the number 56. If you're seeing the 56, it's tied to the 74. It's the wolf. Wolves are what where dogs came from. You know the dog you may have in your house? It's an offshoot of the wolf. Dog is God spelled backwards. Folks, there are no accidents in this reality. It's all coded and scripted by something outside of our reality. Notice the weight of tungsten 183 what do you see there tied to this element right there lanthanum which we showed means to lie hidden tied to the number 322 which is where skull and bones is tied into there it is it's 138 183 it's clearly right there it's not in the same order but it doesn't matter the numbers are still expressing themselves folks these people are not being run by masons or jesuits stupid thinking Mojang Studios, the number 49. Here it is in the string of pi. Yet again, showing you how tightly woven this code is. And again, another layer that we have to bring in. Uh, yet another layer. So many layers, folks, that if you're going to consciously sit down and say, I'm going to create a video game, I'm going to create a studio, and I have to make sure it links to all these layers. So I got to make sure it, it links in Chaldean and English. We can go into, we can go into the Francis Bay. I'm, folks, there's so many layers I can bring into this just to show you how absurd it is to think that man could ever code this. They're not. Some people, they, some people just want to refuse it. It's all good. You find, you know, you're going to finally realize that what I'm showing you and again, I'm not trying to be right, folks. I'm trying to get this right. But what you're going to find, folks, is you're, it's, you're going to have to end up submitting to it because the game is going to prove it to you that you're being used. And you ain't in control of your life. You're just expressing your life through your avatar. 
and you're being controlled remotely. This is just a per perfect example, folks, right here. I mean, 49, Mojang Studios, it appears the 57th and 58th decimal digit. 57 is Lanthanum again, folks. Again, Lanthanum to lie hidden, folks. You got to use your common sense and logic. Use your common sense and logic when I'm showing all these layers and showing you connections. Clear, separate methodologies, bringing them all together and syncretizing them. You can clearly see what's running this reality. It's not mankind. It's not. Through the English, again, another layer. Mojang Studios 167. What's 167? The 39th prime number. And again, that's why I'm, I'm showing this because this is... Okay, yeah, they're on this layer, the 39, in the, in the Chaldean. You can go in the English and you can go into the reduced and you'd have to have all those layers sync up in tie. But I'm just showing you that you can have any word match to any number. You got to break it down and add more layers in and you have to realize what's going on. Skull and Bones, 39, that's tied to this element, Yttrium. What, where's Skull and Bones? Yale. What is the first letter in Yale? The letter Y. There it is, folks. You can clearly see the connection. And then you got to use your common sense. Well, does this mean that Mojang Studios, they're a part of Skull and Bones? Think about it. What would the point of that be, folks? You think everything that we're decoding has to lead to the Masons or Jesuits? It's just absurd thinking if you think that. So, folks, now we get into the address of Mojang Studios. Here's the door, the, the close-up version. I want you to notice the number 43 above the door there. And I wanted to just take you right to the medicine cards the 52 cards using animals insects and reptiles and there is the 43rd card it's the spider card i got this i get this part of my upcoming decode architect of the universe part three it's going to be in my infinity decode it's the spider spinning its web this has everything to do with our reality folks and there it is on top of their door 43 again folks it's, it has nothing to do with their door or building but when you syncretize it and then you realize what mojang studios is all about you can clearly see it's a spinning the web called minecraft going into another virtual reality stepping outside of our reality extending upon mankind here's the actual address the total address of mojang studios folks i mean it gets it just gets funny like i said you know when you look at the, um, here's the full address look at what it becomes folks i mean it's it's <laughs> it's just it's funny it's freaking pie what's pie 3.141 it's right there folks and you think that they're sitting down choosing their location i mean it's it's challenging enough trying to rent a place trying to get a, a space for rent but you know it's like okay you know you you then going and sitting down with numerology and making sure it adds up to the 140s one because it's pi i mean think about it folks use your common sense and logic we're talking about you go into another layer here it is folks there's the 322 again there's the 322 i mean folks it just gets ridiculous and then when we bring in the number 43 because that was the number on the door. We go right back. There it is. It's 43. That's their ad address for Mojang Studios. Look at what the 43 ends becoming in the numberempire.com. It's the 14th prime number, folks. What's pi again? 3.141. So these guys have a 43 for an address. Their full address is 141, which is pi. And this ends up becoming the 3.14. The four, how about that, folks? But yeah, man's coding this. Man's trying to mock you and pull the wooly over your eyes. Man's being used, folks, to express the code. That's why the most important thing that each and every one of us can do is discover what your code is, your instruction manual. That's what's going to make you take off like a rocket and fly. I think that's part of the game, the rules. Know your code. That's why they told you stay away from numerology and astrology and all the things they call demonic because they realize that if you find out what your code is, you're going to take off like a rocket. You're going to become great. Nonetheless, 43 is 14. Look at what it leads to, folks. Time. The God of time. I showed this in the beginning. It's 
It's where this character comes in. It's why Saturn is Satan. Saturn is the god of time. You only get so much time. That's why Satan only has a short period of time. That's where that story comes from, folks. It's time. It's the spider web. 43, the web of time. The web, spinning the web of time. 43 is this element called technetium. It means artificial. What is the game Minecraft? It's an artificially expressed game because it was created by man. Micro to the macro, folks. Make no mistake about it. That's why, you know, the technology capital of the world, folks, is in Silicon Valley. You think that's an accident? Silicon chips and computer boards? Silicon Valley, folks. What is the number of currency? 27. Three point what? Four. Tied to the 43. Tied to the address of Mojang Studios. How about that? And did they sit down and choose this place that they call home because it's the number 43 and it's tied to all these layers that we're showing here, folks? You know how absurd and ridiculous that sounds? I mean, I could just see if this was the only video I ever showed you, but I have over 125 videos and counting on a plethora of concepts and ideas that range from sacred geometry to physics to mainstream to movies and they all are showing the same patterns that man's being used through the code let's go a little bit further here are the creators of mojang studios the first guy marcus pearson or person marcus i don't know how to pronounce his middle name sorry marcus if you watch this <laughs> i doubt you will but but nonetheless, here is his full name in numerology. Notice it's in number 71 tied to that element called lutetium. And we're going to get into that in a minute. And that's one of the elements known as Lucy or Lucifer. And what is Lucy in the sky with diamonds? Well, it's tied to Lucifer. And Lucifer's tied to the architect of the universe. Architect and Lucifer both equal the number 28. 28 is nickel, old Saint Nick. And there is the tie-ins, folks, right there. Now, uh, it, does this mean Marcus person is Lucifer in the flesh? Folks, I've shown so many connections that there are many, many examples of this. Not just this guy, but what is this guy? Think about your common sense and logic. What is he doing? He's an architect building a video game called Minecraft. This is a micro to the macro, folks. That's what this is telling us. Here's his birth card. He was born on June 1st. Notice he was born in 1979. 79 is gold. Subtleties, but you can't leave them out. June 1st. There's the June 1st card. Let me show you that just so we're really transparent. Here it is, June 1st. It's the three spades card. Three spades is in the upside down cross position. If you've been following my research, it's involved in the Truman Show and the upside down world. But it's linked to this element right here called molybdenum, the 42nd element. Molybdenum is tied to the crucifixion. The crucifixion is tied to the 42, folks. This element right here means lead. Turning lead into gold. You know that expression. And this guy is tied directly to all these layers, folks. And you think this is a coincidence. This is just, well, this, there's no control in this right here. People are just popping out of their mother's wombs and there's absolutely full control in the parents and their lives and all that kind of stuff. It's absurd to think that, folks. It's just not the way our reality works. It's called predestination. That's the way this game works. Showing it over and over again. Predestination is 55 Tied to that Lanthanum, but nonetheless, I'm going to be working on a de decode predestination. It's going to rock a lot of your people's worlds. Here's the other guy who was a developer of Minecraft. He was the lead developer. So you have Marcus and Jens Bergenston. 
together that created Minecraft. This guy started it, he came in, and they worked together. Here are their two birth cards, folks. So we add another layer in now, folks, to get it even more complicated. This guy was born on May 18th. It's the Ace Diamonds. Let me show you that. May 18th. Here's May going down to the number 18. There it is. May 18th. It's the Ace Diamonds card. The Ace Diamonds card, of course, is the 27th card in the deck. 27 means currency or current. If you take 42 and 27 and add it up, get out your calculators. That's the number you're going to get duality yin yang which is what we're all playing out folks yin and yang jack and jill if you haven't seen my decode on jack and jill it's yin yang jack and jill is seven and ten we are jack and jill this is a representation of the yin yang these two guys coming together folks they were meant to come together it was part of their code part of their design to create this game so here are their two elements Marcus has got molybdenum and uh, Jens has cobalt, chaos and order. And when you add up molybdenum and cobalt through alchemy and add up that 97.905 and you take the 58.933, you're going to get 156. And this is this element called gadolinium. And you know what's fascinating? This is the GD element. How many squares in a chessboard? 64. How many possible codons in our DNA? 64. Does that have anything? Does that sound like it has anything to do with mocking you folks? Or trying to pull the wooly over eyes or about a ritual? Use your common sense and logic. This is the GD element. And this element, when you look at it, folks, the picture they decided to use is a television screen and that's because when you go read it the image reflects the past use of this element in television screens they used to use the 64th element gadolinium which is tied to the christ and the crucifixion because it's the 153 fish that jesus and his apostles caught and there is the 153 one of the um isotopes of gadolinium is 153 there it is that's the very reason why that story is tied into all this but it's television what is television telling you a vision what is minecraft telling you a vision on the video game screen there it is folks with these two guys here are their numerology outputs their birth names their full birth names notice it's the number uh, the subtleties 38 letters of course if you know what the number 38 is it's the it's below the 138 which is lanthanum but nonetheless, it's the 148. Where's the 148? It's tied to the 103 through the string of pi. And of course, when you take all the letters of the English alphabet, A through Z, you're going to get the number 103. How about that, folks? You speak all your spells, write all your code. It's the 103. It's right there, folks. Make no mistake about it. It's clear as day. You can see the code expressing itself. The greatest video game of all time is tied to these two gentlemen right here, tied to the 103, the full entire alphabet in its fullest expression. 26 letters, G-O-D equals 26. Clearly, you can see what's going on, folks. I have a decode coming out on the I am, and I'm going to show you all the letters of the alphabet, folks. It's going to blow your freaking doors off. And it will prove without a shadow of a doubt that man's being used they're not writing the code they're expressing the code that's okay it's not a bad thing doesn't i'm not saying it gives a hall pass or an excuse to say that people aren't really going out there and killing people that's not what i'm saying just to be crystal clear on that folks through the square cipher because remember this game minecraft it uses blocks or squares. And we live in the cube. We live in the cube and we create duality. The circle fits inside the cube. If you haven't seen my decode on the architect of the universe, I showed the square, the circle, and the triangle. Those three shapes, which are on the remote control of the PlayStation. Those shapes are on the remote control of the PlayStation. Folks, we're being controlled remotely, but nonetheless, here are... 
here's the expression. Look at look at this, folks. Their names in the square cipher. It's a yin yang twice. Folks, man could never co. There's another layer we'd have to add in just to show you. And we're talking about a game they built called Minecraft, which is all about using cubes, squares, cubes. They called them blocks. And that leads to this right here, folks. Here's some of those blocks, and there it is. Look at, look at what it equals, folks. 20. Matching this word right there called duality. What are we in, folks? We're in duality. We're in the yin-yang, folks. Inside the cube of space. The three-dimensional cube. This is a micro to the macro. There it is. Duality. Blocks. And, you know, this is where you can get really advanced and connect a lot of dots, folks, and make sense of this story. Follow along. Just follow along with what I'm about to show you. This element right here is tied to duality. It's called calcium. What are, what are our bones of skeleton made up of calcium? Drink that milk. It's got calcium in it. Keep your bones strong. Calcium. It's a buffering agent for acid does a lot of good things, but our body has a lot of it inside of it. It's the 20th element. It has an atomic weight of 39. It's most abundant. This is tied to this title right there through the only scripture in the entire Bible that represents Lucifer. It's in Isaiah 14 verses 12, the original spelling of lucifer it's, it wasn't lucifer folks it was hell or well, that's how I, I would least pronounce it h-y-l-l -L. it's it's right here hell and it's a 39 foot how about that we're told that lucifer got cast down to earth into duality and there it is folks. it's right there inside this element so anybody that tells you these elements have no relevance, well, now you, you, can, you can see the truth, folks. This is a perfect example. We're talking about a game called Minecraft, a micro to our macro, going into another dimension. What's the dimension beyond our reality, folks? Beyond our 3D reality? This is a perfect example of that. And then when you go into numberempire.com and syncretize that even more, the number 20, the prime number, it's 71, tied to this element right here called lutetium. What, how do you spell Lucifer? L-U-C-I-F-E-R. How do you spell Lucy? L-U-C-Y. Lu. Manly P. Hall said the number of Lucifer, the numbers is 741. Well, there it is right there, folks. Doesn't have to be in direct order. It's common sense and logic. And it's matched up to the 20th prime, which is matched up to calcium on our bones tied to the story of the fallen angels. This right here is from Isaiah 14, 12, verse telling you that this character came down and weakened the nations. Yeah, the light did that. When you turn the light on, you see everything. Duality, folks. And this game, Minecraft, is about blocks. Duality, square, the cube, inside the cube. So here's my last topic, folks, I believe. Yeah, this is my last topic. Sim City, Because this game right here came out in 1989. 89, of course, is tied to Yaldabaoth. SimCity is another sandbox game. It was designed by this guy, Will Wright, and we're going to get into him. But folks... This came out in 1989. Of all days, it comes out on February 2nd. What's February 2nd, otherwise known as 22? Folks, what's 22? We go right here, and again, the clues, here it is. It's titanium. What is Saturn's moon called? Titan. Look at the weight of that. 47. What's 47 in numerology? Tetragrammaton. What does tetragrammaton mean? The box. Tetra meaning four. The cube. And this game comes out on 2 2, 1989, February 2nd. How about that, folks? When you go into the string of pi, again, another layer, 
22, look where it's found. It occupies the 135th and the 136th decimal digits of pi. And of course, that ends up when you take 135 and 136 and you add it up, it, it equals the number 271. 271, folks, is the 58th prime number. What is 58? It is Puppet Master. So again, folks, I mean, we write the software to SimCity, or at least Will Wright and Maxis and all these men and women write the software. What's what wrote our software, folks? You think it's anything different? If no one picks up the remote control to play this game, there's no movement of the game. Zilcho. You can turn the game on. If you don't do anything, there's no cities that get built. There's nothing happens. So if we're controlling this game, why is it so far-fetched to think something's controlling our game called the game of life? It doesn't, folks. Use your common sense and logic. Puppet Master. Tied to the 271, tied to the 22, tied to the release date of this game, folks. There are no accidents. The February 2nd card is the 10 spades card. Let me show you that. So we're very transparent. Here it is. February 2nd is the 10 spades card. And the 10 spades card is the 48th card in the deck. Let me show you that. 10 spades. 49, excuse me. Yeah, 49. Excuse me. It's the 49th card in the deck. I, I got a typo there, but 48 and 49 occupies 48 and 49. That's what I was trying to show there, but it's the 49th card in the deck. 51 in the string of pi occupies the 48 and the 49th digits in pi. 49 is tied to the 51. 51 is antimony. Antimony, the all-seeing eye of Horus. Now, why did I show this, folks? Because you see this guy right here, the developer of the game SimCity, his birthday. Look at what his birthday is, folks. January 20th. How do you write that out in some parts of the world? 1 slash 20 or 1 dot 20. What's one of the weights for antimony, the all-seeing eye? 120. So let me back up again. So this release date, February 2nd, tied to the 10 spades. It's the 49th card. I had a typo there. The 48 and 49 is the makeup of the 51 in the string of pi. 51 is antimony. The all-seeing eye. And then when we go to antimony, folks, I've shown this so many times, but in case you're new to this, here it is, 51 antimony. Look at, look at the, what they used, the all-seeing eye of Horus. Why? Because antimony sulfide, they used to put it under their eyes as mascara, the women did. And of course, if you split your brain in half, you'll see that all-seeing eye in there. And remember, folks, antimony, if you do the um, numerology of that, guess what number it equals? 28, which is tied to the word architect, which is tied to the word Lucifer, folks. So all those tie of our reality in this game, SimCity, otherwise known as simulation. We're living in a simulation that looks real and it's tied to this element antimony from the birth card of this game when it was first released. Tied to this guy's birthday, folks, who developed it. Now, do you think he sat down and was looking at the string of pie, making sure that his birthday card was tied up to when they were going to release this because he knew it was antimony in the all-seeing eye and the architect? Do you think that's possible? It could be possible, but I think the percentages are less than 0% because I doubt it. Man is being used. Macro to the micro. He was born in Atlanta, Georgia. He was born in Atlanta, Georgia. January 20th. January 20th. There's his card, Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds, folks, is the 33rd card in the deck. What is Atlanta's coordinates on the map? Latitude, longitude? Oh, nothing. It's just 33 degrees north. But yeah, man's coding this. Man is doing this to mock you because they want to pull the wool you over your eyes because it's a video game and, you know, they want to try to program you and, you know, they want to try to steal your energy and you know, try to control you through slavery through a video game. That's what some people believe, folks. But nonetheless, you can clearly see. I mean, think about it. Use your common sense and logic. 
33 degrees, 33rd card, birthday card. I mean, do you think this guy was coding his life from square one? His parents, they would have to be all in on the conspiracy, folks. And he was born in Atlanta. You have to, if he maybe he wasn't born in Atlanta and he just changed it to be the come to 33 because his card's the 33. And what the hell would you do that for? Retarded. It'd be stupid. And you'd have to have 120. And to all seeing eye, folks, 120 tied to the release date of this game through the string of pie. I mean, folks, this is so complicated, this code, but this code is expressing itself, showing you that man would, they could never, and they would never do it. This doesn't makes no sense. Here's my last slide, folks. Here's his name through numerology. 59, of course, it is a prime number. It's the 17th prime number. The 17 is the seventh prime number. How many colors in a rainbow? Seven. Where humans slow down into physical matter. But, you know, here's the tie in Yahweh, the Yod Hey Vahe, the Tetragrammaton. It's tied to this card right here called the Mountain Lion. You know, in the theology sense, this is where you get the lion, the tribe of Judah, the Lion of Judah, which is Leo, and of course the mountain. And, you know, that's where you get Jack and Jill went up a hill, up a mountain, trying to get up there, trying to get up through the tower of babel all these stories syncretize folks and you realize that we're living inside of a simulation it looks it looks and feels and smells and tastes real <clears throat> but make no mistake about it folks we're not in control of it just like when you put on sim city and you build your city you're in control of building that city you're the architect of that city well in this game of life we're being controlled to, to, to create this reality. We're not in control of it, folks. Do we have any free will? I can't prove that. You can't prove that. I can't say you do. You can't say you can say that you do have some, but you can't prove it. And I can't prove that you don't have any. If we do have any, if you're asking my opinion, I think we have very little, very small amounts of free will. What kind of foods you want to have, shoes you want to buy, socks you want to put on your feet. But when it comes to the major things that are going on on the world stage, man's being used and i've shown it over and time and time again but nonetheless folks this was another long presentation i appreciate you sticking with me till the end i appreciate all your support and folks i'm going to just come out and say that um i have no sorries when i'm when it seems like i'm mocking people or when it seems like i'm poking fun because you know what folks i get my brunt of persecution and I'm here to show you my truth. That's why I say in all my videos, these are my truths and opinions. You don't have to agree with them. That's totally fine. I'm very stern and rigid in my beliefs, but aren't you? Mostly everybody is. And I'm not going to force this on you, but I stand firm in my research. And I always will. And it's subject to change because I keep learning. I've been wrong so many times. But I'm certainly not going to sit there and let people sling garbage when they're basic decoders and they just are completely lost and that's my opinion by the way but nonetheless folks what is it you saw during this presentation i'd love to hear what your observational points are maybe you've played this game maybe you can see something i haven't seen i've never played this game but clearly the best-selling game of all time had to be decoded and once again thank you for the suggestion on this decode and keep them coming folks uh, i'd love to hear what you have to say but that's all i got for today my name is logan this is decode your reality and i thank each and every one of you for your support and for your continued watching of these presentations until next time folks we'll see you later